Tag ist schon wirklich ein Tag. Washington State Republican Party. We were a little bit concerned as we were driving down the highway, would there be anyone here? And we just said, wow, when we saw that crowd. Thank you so much for being here. And, and to get us off of the, for the right kind of start, I got a couple questions I need to ask you, and I hope you'll answer loudly enough for everyone in the 2nd Congressional District, all the way to the Canadian border to here. Are you excited about firing Nancy Pelosi? Yeah. Are you excited about electing John Coster to Congress? I think we might have just created a border incident. That was very, very well done. To our Congress in the 2nd Congressional District, John Coster! Well, thanks for coming out today. I pulled up and we pulled up. I couldn't believe the size of the crowd. I just, I just wondered who's at work today. Luke says I didn't. Yeah, well, Luke said I didn't know you had that many relatives out here, but, uh, you know, I want to thank you all for coming today, and, uh, you know, so many of you have worked so hard, and, and I know you understand the importance of this election. And, our, and, and we're handing these deficits off to our young, our children and our grandchildren, and that deficit increases every day. We've got to stop these guys and stop them now. We have to stop spending money we don't have, we've got to balance the budget, we've got to get this economy back on track. Now, I gotta tell you, we have 25 days left. 25 days till we decide what kind of a country we're gonna leave our children and our grandchildren. You know what you know. The question I have for you is, what are you gonna do about it? You're here. You gotta get out and vote. You gotta double down. We got 25 days to get out and work hard. And, and volunteer, volunteer, volunteer. I gotta tell you, uh, Rick Larson's actually had to hire a little extra help. <laughs> I knew you'd feel bad about that, but you know why? It's because our volunteers have done such a fabulous job out there, and they feel the need. So that's uh, that's good for you. Thank you. Okay, now on November second, we want to do what? We want to soundly. You know, I don't want this election close. I want to pound this guy in November second. Okay. So let's get her done. Let's get her done. Michael Steele was elected chairman of the National Republican Committee on January, 20, uh, January 30th, 2009. A self-described Lincoln Republican, Mr. Steele earned a place in history in 2003 when he's elected Lieutenant Governor of Maryland. An expert on political strategy and election reform, he most recently served as chairman of Go Back. Mr. Steele's engaging speaking style has launched him into national prominence. 
His first exposure was during an appearance at the 2004 National Republican Convention. His ability as a communicator and political analyst, analyst had been showcased through his roles as a contributor at Fox News Channel and a regular host of Salem Radio Network's nationally syndicated Morning in America show. And I could go on and on here. Let's just get him up here. Michael Steele! What's up, Seattle? All right, are you fired up the fire, Pelosi? Are you ready to retire, Harry Reid? Are you ready to take back your country? All right, I just want to make sure I was in the right place. Doing well? Let me walk up in here and check y'all out. Make sure everybody's ready to do this thing. Y'all ready to win? Yeah! No, 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 come on. Are you ready to win? Yeah! Are you ready to elect Coster to Congress? Yeah! Are you ready to fire Larson? Yeah! Fire Pelosi? Yeah! All right, you've got that spirit because that's what this fight is about. It is about you. It is about every last one of you. Every last one of you have made this moment possible. This just didn't happen, folks. It didn't get manufactured on Madison Avenue. It wasn't conjured up in a boardroom in Washington, D.C. It has come from the people. You, everyday folks, earning your living, running your business, raising your kids, trying to make those ends meet. And the only obstacle in your way is the government. Pelosi, Reid, Obama. But guess what? You're going to unblock that obstacle. You're going to move it aside in November. You're going to win because it's time you do that, right? Yeah. It's time you start winning. And you've got a winning team right here in your own backyard that has put together the resources and the opportunity. So I want to thank your chairman, Luke Esser. He is one hell of a chairman. He has worked hard to build a foundation for the grassroots. He's got a great, a great partnership with our national committee man, Jeff Kent. Thank you so much, Jeff, for your leadership, your connection to the to real people out here in businesses. It is just infectious work that he's doing. And then, of course, the national committee woman, who has been just Freddie Simpson. You are something, Freddie. Thank you so much, Freddie Simpson, your national committee woman. She's been working hard for you to lay down this moment. You ready for the moment? Oh yeah! She's looking a little shy over here. We're gonna have to get her fired up. Gotta get her fired up. Well, I'm fired up because I know you got a guy right here who deserves, belongs, we need in the United States Congress. I'm looking forward to calling him Mr. 39. I'm looking forward to that day, sir, where you stand on the well of that Congress and you raise your hand to vote Nancy Pelosi out of office. That's what I'm here for. I'm here because you're here. This bus is just a symbol. And by the way, a lot of my Democrat friends are a little upset with my bus. <laughs> they're, they're, a little, they're, a little, they're a little put off by the bus. And I, I, look, I apologize to them. I told them, yes, they're right. It's a little understated. So I tried to make it a little bigger, but the rap just didn't, you know, you kind of... But this is just, this is a symbol of what's already been happening out here, folks. This is just the, the tip of the energy that's been building and growing in this country for over a year. And it has come from everyday folks. That's what I love about this. Whether you're part of the 912 movement, the Tea Party, we got some Tea Parties here today. You know, and, and don't believe this hype about, oh, well, the Tea Party and the GOP are having issues. Oh, no, the only issue we have is with Obama, Pelosi, and Reid. The only issue we have is with a, an egregious government that's trying to take control of our lives through health care and, and the financial markets. What we have a problem with is leadership has stopped listening to people. And so that's our issue. And we will fight together right through November 2nd. Because on November 3rd, we're going to celebrate Libby. How old are you, Libby? Seven years old. Has a forty-two dollars to $55,000, depending on which report you read, price tag on her head. Debt that she now owes at seven years old because of the policies of this administration. 
How does she pay that off? Higher taxes? Well, that's one way. <laughs> Cut Higher taxes? Cut spending. More regulation? No. Greater debt? No. More spending? No. More government? No. And that's the voice they need to hear in Washington. No to all of that so that Libby has a free shot to achieving the American dream. Creating the dream the way you want. That's why we're out here. That's why you have to fight. That's why you have to engage. That's why this moment is so important. Now, I don't know if you heard what, uh, I understand Joe Biden is in, in, in the state today. Oh, no, no, no. Welcome, Mr. Vice President. Unlike what he said yesterday in Wisconsin, in which he looked at his audience and called them the dullest audience that he'd ever seen. I'm here with you, and I see the sharpest audience I've ever seen. Inspired audience. And then he goes on, he goes, Well, don't you know what the unemployment is in Wisconsin? Well, you sure they do. We know what it is here. We know what it is in the country. That's why we're inspired to fight back against this administration and their poor leadership. That's why we need you right now more than ever to get out there to win for John Coster. And oh, by the way, you got to help my brother out, Mr. Dino Rossi. This one's for Dino. This one's for Dino. No finer man who has worked so hard to represent the people of this state than Dino Rossi. And I really appreciate his leadership and I can't wait, I can't wait <laughs> to call him U.S. Senator. Well, let me tell you this, folks. They don't know what's coming to Washington. They don't know what's about to hit them. They don't know the tsunami of voices that are going to come from the people of this country with the leadership they're going to send to Washington. I think that's pretty cool, don't you? Yeah. Uh, they're not prepared for the energy that's about to hit like a tidal wave on the Capitol steps. They're not prepared for your voices to actually resonate throughout the halls of the Congress. They're not ready for that. But that's okay. That's okay. We'll teach them. We'll train them. We'll get them up to speed. Because, well, we don't need to scare them. We just need to get rid of them. I don't scare them. But this is, this is the moment that we now need to prepare for. And why your being here is so important. John was absolutely right. It's time to put the work ethic out there. Knocking on the doors making the phone calls. Now we have a couple of volunteers here that we have with us as a representative example of, of our kids. No more tennis To push shoes. back. No more tennis shoes. I'm, sh I'm sure that means something. I don't know what, but okay. I, I, I don't have any on, just so you know. So I stand here, okay. Oh, that makes perfect sense. All right, so let's send a message to Joe Biden while he's here in, here in town. No more. Not here. We're not buying it. Take it somewhere else. We're standing with the people here in Washington. We're standing with the people of this community. Let's do this fight the right way. Let's not slip away. Let's not shy away. Let's not hide from this opportunity. We're going to need everyone on the ground. We're going to need everyone engaged. We're going to need everyone to do their utmost. So I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I'm loving the energy here. I'm loving the fire here. You guys are.